Here's how you'd create a Canva whiteboard to use with your staff or how a teacher could create a Canva whiteboard to use with students. To access Canva, you can start at KCloud and search for Canva. If you don't see Canva on your KCloud, you'll need to add it as an app. To add an app, you start with the plus sign in the top left, Open App Library, and you should find Canva under the All Apps filter in alphabetical order. If Canva is not in your KCloud, this button will say Add. If you're opening Canva for the first time, the program might make you authenticate. Authenticate using Google. Under the search bar, you should see a section for Canva whiteboards. If you click here, you'll see whiteboard templates that are created for you to use. The great thing about all of these templates is they are all editable. So you can change the title, the sections, the headings, any part of it that you see, you can change. And there's multiple here. There's whiteboards for brainstorming, whiteboards for flowcharts, whiteboards for teams, planning. All of these are amazing resources for you. In addition, if you just want a plain whiteboard, you can start right here and you'll get this dotted background where you have a whiteboard that you can add anything to. Often, it's great to start with a template. Once you get into Canva and you choose whiteboards as the product that you're going to create, it will pop you into the templates area of whiteboards. And so you'll see more of those templates like we saw before that can be a great jumping off point for starting your project. If I don't want to start from scratch, I can use one of the templates. I'm going to start with this one today. One of the nice things about this template is it's got some tips and tricks for using whiteboards. Those may be helpful if you're building one for the first time. just shows you how to use different tools that are available within the whiteboards. In this whiteboard, it's about learning Canvas and I've got lots of different boxes where information can go and, and people can come together on this whiteboard to share. And then I also have these nice little elements that were added that people can add to ideas to say that they like them, etc or arrows to point things out, to emphasize. So this is kind of a fun one to start with. I have the ability to delete the things that I know I don't need. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm actually gonna select all of these and I'm gonna delete them. Because I know with my staff, I have three things that I'm working on. So then I can come in here and I can begin editing text. So I'm going to say faculty meeting, and maybe it's going to be 8.22. And here we're going to work on hall procedures. Maybe we're going to brainstorm at an elementary school what the procedures are going to be in our school for the hallway. So once I have this created, I'm ready for maybe my teachers to add to it and then they can add to it in various ways you could see that there's already some little boxes here but i'm actually going to delete these boxes if i'm working with all canva users within our keller asd if i have them add their own items i'm going to see their name attached to it so the next menu item over here on the left is called elements and if you click on elements and you're working with whiteboards underneath things that you've recently used will be your sticky notes so if i have a teacher who want, who's in the whiteboard with me and we're working together and they begin to add a sticky note 
you'll notice that that sticky note automatically comes with their name at the bottom. So I can, I can um, see who's adding this idea. So I'll know automatically what ideas came from what person. Now, in order to get your participants to be able to work with you in the whiteboard, you're going to have to share it a specific way. Up on the right hand side, you have a share button. And right now, you can see that only I have access to work in this whiteboard. If I drop this menu down, I can choose anyone from Keller ISD can access this design using the link or anyone worldwide can access this design using the link. I'm going to start with Keller ISD. The important thing about choosing this access is teachers will need to be logged into their Canva through their Keller ISD account. And best practice to get there that way is to go through KCloud. So once I have that link, then I'm going to be able to share that link with anyone on my faculty and they're going to be able to get into the whiteboard with me and have editing rights. So this is a fun digital way to do collaboration in your meetings or even in your classroom. And you have the benefit of knowing who added what items as long as your students or teachers are logged into Canva in Keller ISD. Happy whiteboarding!